Okay, so holding on the reformer carriage, remember you can use the headrest to lift up or lift down, placing the ball of the foot on the bar, the foot bar. Okay, we've got our spring set. Okay, breathe in, breathe out. Now, breathe in, breathe out. And on the inhale, so you push back on the carriage to go back and then come back in. Good. And repeat that. Uh, five or six times. So you're using inner muscle, transverse abdominal, to put on the brakes in that way so you don't crash the carriage in, okay? Remember, don't move the head, keep the chin tucked in, don't tense up the shoulders, don't press the hands in. You can keep the hands fairly relaxed. Good. Once you've done that, come back in. Table top position the right leg, breathe in to go back. When you come in, extend the leg ahead of you, just above the foot bar, and back. Good. Breathe in to go back. Remember, exhale to come forward. So the springs contract to your oxygen output and input, if you see what I mean, yes? So remember, your exertion depends on how far the carriage manoeuvres. Good. One more. Good. Change legs gently, yes? Now remember, you can always adjust the springs, so for some people it could feel a bit light, okay, but in reformer exercises remember some motions will feel much more challenging and much more tougher with lighter spring load. Sometimes heavier spring load is not the way forward to give yourself a challenge. On certain moments like a warm up it is. Good, one more. Good and back. Now press the feet back onto the foot carriage, I'm sorry, the foot bar. Breathe in, push back, hold, and now marching feet, walking feet, yeah? Now again, you can pick up the pace if you wish, and if you have a ring, you hold the ring, and we use the ring to manipulate the exercise to give you a better experience, and you can squeeze the ring while doing your foot position. You've got to really push the heel back and forth, bend the knee, keep the chin tucked in, keep the breath flowing. You can squeeze her in, you can hold it squeeze, bring it to the chest, to the ceiling simultaneously. So you're going with the flow in that way. You can pulse it a few times. There's variations you can do in a warm up. This is to get the body overall for the preparation of exercise the head. Good. You can also take the ring over you and come in with your foot position. Now remember, you can also go for the brisk walk, obviously the quicker walking motion, even with the arms, but you go at your own pace. So then concentrate always on yourself, okay? Good. I'll take one more repetition, and relax. Bring the carriage back in, remember, gently. You can hold on to the ring, it's fine if you've got it. Place the heels, on the edge of the foot bar, in a sort of 10 o'clock, 2 o'clock angle, so put a bit of width, okay? Okay, lift your toes towards you, now breathe in, push back, hold, this inner thigh stretch now, yeah? So that was a bit of the hamstring and calf, good, and then come back in, slowly, good. Remember those breaks, good, and again, push back, this inner thigh contraction, I don't mind you holding the ring or squeezing it, whatever takes your preference, good, and back. Now, on this one, go back, and then come in halfway hold. So you'll feel the tension more along that inner thigh area. Remember, the feet are still turned out, your chin tucked in, don't tense up the shoulders, good, and then push back. Yeah. One more, and on this one, we come in, and for a bit of variation, what we do, we keep the width for the legs, and we just pulse back and forth, moving the carriage very gently, back and forth. Okay? Very gently. Deep breaths, deep breaths, yeah? That's it, yeah? A few more pulses, look at a deeper contraction of the inner thigh. Again, you can hold or squeeze the ring, it's up to you. Good. Come back slowly, bring the carriage back. Good, relax the legs. Bring the feet back onto the foot bar, this time the ball of the foot. Inhale, exhale, breathe in, breathe out, inhale, push back. This time, lift the toes towards you and push the heels underneath. So this deep now calf stretch, okay? You've got resistance of the screens. Remember, it's different for everybody. 
Okay, you remember some people a bit more stronger can withstand the tension of a purple heavy spring load. Good. And then lift back up. That's it. Point the toes. Good. And again, push those heels under. Imagine you are trying to touch the back, sorry, the front of the room where the toes are lifting towards you. Good. And back. Good. One more. Push those heels under. Lift those toes. And on this one, again, for that slight variation, pulse those heels back and forth gently, yeah? Back and forth. There you can feel that deep calf stretch and also calf springs. Good and relax. Well done. Bring the springs back gently. Take the ring away from you. Okay. Here we go. Come off the carriage gently. Roll over to the side. That's it. And now we're going to come with the legs into tabletop position on all fours. Adjust the spring to a slightly lighter load if need be. So the spring can be now one red, one green. Good. And then come into a tabletop position and the hands on the foot bar. Good. Make sure the feet go up against the shoulder pads. You've got relaxed shoulders, okay? You're looking towards the spring coils. Breathe in. Breathe in. Now breathe in. Push yourself back and lengthen away and feel the stretch deep out. Deep breaths. And it's a bit heavy. So if it's a bit heavy, no problem. We can adjust the dust gently. And then we breathe in and we push back. Inhale to go back and feel that deep stretch. You will... Slow, come down gently. We don't want to throw your head down, yeah? Of course, if your hair is long, make sure it doesn't throw down. Good. And back. Now, one more. Push back and hold. Good. That's it. Feel the length of the body. This opens up the entire spine. Lower back too. Good. And then come back in. Now we can go a bit further. You breathe in. And when you go back halfway, you come into the plank position by lifting up, there you go. And you feel the whole plank position and your resistance and your breath flow, watch the shoulder tension, good. You bring the carriage back halfway and then lower the knees and then come back in. And remember, the foot bar can be adjusted as well if it needs to be closer to you. This time, come back into the plank. You go back halfway, so you don't just take off immediately. You go back halfway, hold, and then, if comfortable, just move the carriage back and forth, very slowly, and keeping the spine level. Remember the breath. Now you don't have to do too many repetitions here. Okay, three or four is enough. Good. And then if you're feeling strong, you can come into a push-up. By coming to the chest, to the, the foot bar, and up. You breathe in, breathe out, yeah? So these are the variations of exercises that I would use by building it up. I wouldn't do this automatically, but I would build up to something like this to bring the exercise better. Good. And then bring the knees down, and then come back in. Child's pose. You can use the, the stretch of the child's pose by using the foot bar to hold on to, to give yourselves that length. Good. Very gently now. Come back up to the tabletop position as you were. Take a relaxed, soft elbow on each hand. Look down and hover your knees off the carriage. Now what we're trying to do here is keep the carriage very still. So the more still you are and the carriage doesn't move, the better. Now here, the spring weight will be lighter. Will be lighter. Yeah, good. And then you bring it down. Good. And one more. Lift off, hover. Hold, be still, be still. Good, and then come down and relax. Child's pose. And thank you for coming out this evening.